in this question you have to find the value of fourth root of 12 using Newton Raphson method so let x equals to fourth root of 12 that is 12 to the power 1 by 4 then x to the power 4 is 12 x to the power 4 minus 12 equals to 0 this is the function fx find the derivative of fx that is f dash x 4x cube Newton Raphson formula is xn plus 1 equals to xn minus f of xn by f dash xn Putting this fxn and f dash xn from these two functional values fx and f dash x, you are getting this function. This has been done in the book. But in my opinion, in the exam, if you do directly from this formula, then the calculation will be easier. In the question, the interval where the root lies has not been given. So you have to find the interval. To find the interval, you have to know one theorem. The theorem states that that if a function y equals to fx defined in an interval and in that interval say at a and b and then at a and b if the functional values are of opposite signs then there exists one root in between a and b so in this case if you take x as 0 generally we first we take the positive values of x in some questions you have to take negative values to find the interval so in this question let us start from 0 at 0 the functional value is negative at 1 the functional value is negative at 2 the functional value is positive so at 1 and at 2 functional values are of opposite signs so according to that theorem there is a root lying between 1 and 2 now in this Newton Raphson formula if you put n equals to 0 then you will have x1 equals to 3 x0 power 4 plus 12 by 4 x0 cube. What is x0? Look here this x0 is not 0. This x0 is the initial value of x that is the initial approximation of x. So the interval you have got 1 and 2 any one of them you can take as x0 if you take as 1 then also you will approach towards the root if you take 2 then also you will approach towards the root the root will be same so if you take x0 as 1 then x1 will be 3.75 Again, putting n equals to 1 in the Newton Raphson formula, then you will have x2 equals to x1 minus f of x1 by f dash x1. So, there x1 will be taken as 3.75 and you will have some values of x2. Using that x2 in the formula of x3, you will get x3. In this way, by some iteration, you will reach 2 two values which will be similar at least up to three decimal places that will be your required root now look in the exam you can approach by any method in any from any side that may be from negative side or from positive side so here uh, you look if you take x naught as one then you are getting x1 equals to x0 minus f of x0 by f dash x0 there you put x0 as 1 and you will have 15 by 4 what I have shown here 3.75 now if you approach from 2 from 2 in, in the same formula then x0 will be 2 minus 2 to the power 4 minus 12 divided by 4 into 2 cube that is 2 minus 16 minus 12 by 4 into 8 that is 2 minus 4 by 4 into 8 cancel 2 minus 1 by 8 that is 2 minus point 0.125 1.875 so if you approach from 2 then you are getting what 0.875 and if you approach from 1 you are getting 3.75 
So similarly you can find x2 that is x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash x1. So x1 is now 3.75 minus 3.75 minus fx is x to the power 4 that is 3.75 power 4 minus 12 divided by 4 into 3.75 power q. So you will get some value of x2. Similarly if you put here then you will get x1 as 1.875 minus 1.875 power 4 minus 12 divided by 4 into 1.875 power q. So you will have some value of x2. Then you can find x3 in both the cases. In this way you approach then after some iteration you will have two similar values up to at least three decimal places that will be your required root but listen in the exam you do not have to show from two sides any side you can show here i have shown you two sides to understand how you are approaching towards the root